Thanks for joining us today on Motor Mouse. Brad Doherty, Kyle Petty, Dave Burns with you for the first round of the playoffs for the Cup Series beginning this Sunday at Darlington. Let's take a look at the Cup standings going in. There you see all 16. And on the bottom, in the worst shape points-wise, Wallace, Harvick, Stenhouse, and McDowell. They are the bottom four going in. But that's probably not the way it's going to stay because we know that uh, the first round, just like any, can be pretty tough. Kyle, let's take your first uh, look at the first round. Darlington, Kansas, Bristol. What kind of a first round is that? Hey, listen, I think it's an incredible first round. I think it's a driver's first round. Uh, let, let, me, let me put it that way. Um, I think a driver can make a difference in every one of these races. And, and what I mean by that is this place, Darlington, hot, slick. you got to race the racetrack. That's just it, that's, that's been a part of it. You've got to race that lady in black. And we've said it 10 million times. And we'll talk about it in the broadcast. It doesn't make any difference. We go to Kansas. Kansas is one of the few places in the country where they get a 100-degree swing from winter to summer. <laughs> that racetrack is worn <laughs> out, man. They are all over that racetrack. You've got to drive that speedway. It's a different kind of place. It's not a Chicago, uh, what Chicago land used to be. It's not a what a Texas is or Charlotte or places like it's a it's an it's its own animal. And we all know what Bristol can be. Uh, Bristol can can be a million things to a million different people. But the one thing it is that everybody is tough. So it puts it back in the driver's hands. So for me, this first round is a is a test as much of the drivers or more of the drivers than any other round we have. Brad, what stands out to you in the Darlington, Kansas Bristol yeah. first round? Yeah, I think it's really going to test drivers and as well as the teams. You're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to be mistake free to have an opportunity to win these races, which is almost impossible to do. Uh, you're talking about Darlington, a racetrack that will eat you alive if you're not focused throughout the day. Uh, as Kyle's talking about, Kansas is so hard to get a hold of. Uh, you have to be smart. You have to make good decisions. You can't make mistakes, which you're going to do. Like I say, you got to overcome. And then Bristol. Man, the calamity that could happen is just you could be a part of it. It's like, a, you know, it's like a mini Daytona type situation. So I think it, it puts it really spots lights, it spotlights everything that these teams are about. Who has the best overall team that can perform during these 10 weeks? And that's usually who ends up being your winner. Brad, can you think of uh, who this might benefit driver wise and and maybe even throw in there too who you think is a surprise to make it through and maybe who's a surprise right. that is not going to make it? Yeah, I think for me, you know, and it's maybe not a surprise for some, but I, I really think Brad Keselowski, I mean, we've seen what's going on over there at, at Roush Fenway Keselowski. They, they've done an unbelievable job this second half of the year coming on strong, you know, specifically with Chris Buescher, who has been just dominant at times. But I've been watching Brad. We all do because Brad's a champion and we know his pedigree and what he's capable of. I think he's going to shine during these playoffs. And I think Brad's going to make a big march towards trying to win this championship. I'm looking to him to be very, very strong. The one team that's out and the one guy that's out is that, you know, I think is surprising could be the four car in Kevin Harvick, you know, and, and these are racetracks that Kevin's very, very good at. So he could carry the team. I don't see the consistency there though, week in and week out. And uh, I think that's going to hurt Kevin a little bit and could possibly let him down. I think that may be the toughest, uh, the toughest team uh, or for someone who we would expect to have a chance to win a championship. He may not get out of this first round. And to your point, Brad, we showed the playoff uh, grid at the beginning. He's in the bottom four to start. So that is a, yeah. a legitimate, uh, we got to be careful if we're the four team. KP, how about you? Yeah, you know, and we have a tendency, and, and I will say my surprise. We have a tendency to look in that bottom four and say, well, they're already behind, they're out. Um, <clears throat> they're behind by two or three points. <laughs> that's how close, <laughs> that's how crazy it is. You know, that's that's a choose line decision right there. Do you choose the outside line or the inside line? All of a sudden you choose the outside line and you're in the playoffs. That's how, that's how simple it works. So uh, I think my surprise to get in, uh, and I'm going to give a tip of the hat to, to Brad here, is Ricky Stenhouse. Um, I think Ricky is a different driver than he's ever been in his career between his ears. I think he's more mature. I think he's in a different place being married. I think he's just in a lot different place. And as we look at these racetracks, I put it back in a driver's hand. And I believe that Ricky um, is, is a phenomenal race car driver that can adapt to a lot of situations. That comes from that dirt background. And we know it. Anybody that drives dirt adapts. That's how it is. These are three racetracks that you're going to have to adapt as we go through the process. I think they've shown flashes of speed. Um, they've got, he's got it. Obviously, you can get in the wall at Darlington and still survive. But he's got to keep it between the ditches. The crew just has to give him a car that's going to finish a race. 
finish a race with no mechanical problems, with nothing that goes on. And I think Ricky moves forward. That's my, that's to get in. Um, my guy out, and you can reach me at on Twitter at Kyle. <laughs> um, uh oh, uh -oh. Is it. my guy out is Kyle Bush. I do not Ooh. think Kyle Bush makes it to the first round. I am so sorry, wow. but these guys have just fallen off the face of the earth, really. Uh, and they have some decent finishes. But here's the here's the thing to me: you can't continue to count on decent finishes once you get to the playoff. You have to make finishes happen. You have to make wins happen. You have to make things happen for you. And I've not seen this team over the last two or three months be able to make anything happen for them. They've had some horrendous races, uh, some races where they didn't even know what was going on. He's probably gotten more waiver rounds and more lucky dogs over the last five or six races or 10 races than anybody I know of to put them back in the mix. They can't continue to live on that. And when you get to the playoffs, you've got to perform. So uh, I just don't think they're up to it this year. Brad, Kyle, thanks for your perspective. Keep it between your ears, people. Keep it between the ditches. And we'll see you on Sunday for the first round of the playoffs. Thanks for watching NASCAR America Motor Mouth, presented by Toyota.